Why do good teams kill great ideas? Imagine the good we can do for the world if we could liberate those trapped ideas. So to answer that question, which I'm going to do for you today, in a way that's never been done in 200 years, but I will do for you today in 18 minutes, I am going to need a prop. I swirl my finger around, the molecules inside just slosh around my finger. And at 32 Fahrenheit, the behavior of those molecules completely changes. I can't stick my finger in, the water freezes. The molecules inside are exactly the same. So how did they notice suddenly change behavior? There's no CEO molecule saying, oh, it's 33 Fahrenheit, everybody just slosh around. So what I'm gonna show you today is how understanding the answer to that question helped the Allies win the Second World War, helped the US lead the world in science and technology ever since, and gives us a new way to think about what it means to be a better manager and leader, and a few steps closer to that holy grail.